What's up, YouTube? My name is Genge, bringing you guys part three for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you smash that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually explored the whole wild area and we defeated Team Yell. So now we are at this hotel. We registered for the gym battles and we gotta stay overnight here for so we can uh, go to the gym battles for tomorrow. Because we have to wait a whole day. I don't even know what that is about. So we're just gonna register in right here. It's just gonna transfer in the morning and we can go register for the gym battles and all that good stuff. But in today's video, we're gonna be going to a new route. Maybe going back to the wild area. Maybe, maybe we'll see. But we will be taking on the first gym, which I am hyped for. So let's get it. I will show you guys my team when I get the chance right now. If you guys don't know what it is right now, we're rocking three Pokemon, but we have six in the party right now. We're just gonna talk to Hop. He's gonna say it's morning and all that good stuff. We're gonna say, let's go, let's get going. We're trying to get ahead with this story. <laughs> But yeah, let me show you guys my team real quick. We got Pokemon. I know, I know my face cam cuts it off a little bit, but you can see the Pokemon on the right side. Our three Pokemon that we were using is Rookity, level 14. We got Thwacky, who is level 16, and we got Chudle, who is level 11. And then the other Pokemon are just Pokemon that I caught that are just chilling in my party. But right now, Rookity's rocking the front spot. He's going to be rolling in the front gym because he's flying, and the first gym is Grass. So... You know, the, we got the disadvantage right there. But we make our way outside this little hotel. Gym Challenger, the open ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. I hate how they do that. Like <laughs> They have that line, and then they go down to another line. All right, follow close. Be careful not to lose us. But let's go. We make it to the gym stadium right here. We're going to actually go head inside here and just check it all out. I thought that this was where the gym battles happen. I don't know actually what happens here because the gym battle happens in a different town right here. But this is the Motor Stoke Stadium, so we'll probably figure out everything later. Challenger jeans, wasn't it? You must ask that gym challengers wear that uniform for all official events. The opening ceremony marks the beginning of a gym challenge, so you know what that means. That's right, I'll need you to get changed as well. Are you hunk of junk? Where do we get changed at? Did he give us our uniform? Oh yeah, our cacker does it on its own. Okay, I was gonna be like, yo, where do we have to go get changed at? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. Look at us. Number 25, baby. Jeans. Ah, the crowd goes wild. Ah, ah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Dude, I'm hyped for this game. Well, I've been had playing it, but like, I don't know. Just every new episode is just something new in this game. But here we go. We're, at, we're registering for the gym. This is not the gym battle right here. I actually don't really know exactly what it does, to be honest with you. But I know it's not the gym battle because we have to head through a route and go to... Turfield Town or something like that? Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone's gathered here, and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally the Gatlar Gym Challenge will now begin! Yeah! <laughs> yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat eight gym leaders and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skill as a trainer. Like normal Pokemon games. <laughs> Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Is it my boy Leon? Now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. So we're, right here, we're just going to see the rest of the gym leaders right here. They're just going to show it to us. And then we're just going to get moving along. Here we go. Finishing up the gym challenge ceremony. We actually escape out here and somebody's going to give us a gift real quick. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. It gets a gift such a wonderful thing from the chairman. Such a wonderful man. Okay, so we're getting a gift from the chairman. What is it? Give it to me. Oh, a flying taxi. Well, okay. Okay, we got a flying taxi. Okay, so I guess that's flying in this game. So now we can uh, fly back and forth from places that we have been to, which is just nice and dandy. But right now we actually head, have to head towards the left area over here, all the way to Route 3 and up through the mines to Turf Field Gym. We're going to be facing off in the first gym, so I'm hyped we're going to be catching Pokemon. Ooh, with that said, yo, let's head to the Pokemart real quick. Oh, yeah, let's get it. Welcome to the Pokemon. We're here to buy. Oh, look at all these Pokeballs we can get. Why are you giving me all these Krusty Balls? Where's the regular Pokeballs? What you mean? Do you not have regular Pokeballs? Did I talk to the wrong guy? There's two guys. Wait, let's talk to this guy. Let's buy him from him. There we go, the regular Pokeballs. Okay, that guy sells some other stuff. We're going to buy... Probably like 20 of them. Yeah, let's get it. We're going to buy 20 Pokeballs so we can catch all the Pokemon on the route and throughout that way. Oh, they gave us two Premier Balls too, which is just awesome. So we're just going to make our way that way and up to the second gym. I'm actually going to be rocking Choodle. I think we're going to switch out the Choodle real quick. Let's do it. Have Choodle run that front spot real quick. 
because, you know, Ruka D is going to get a lot of time in the gym, and Thwacky is already evolved. So we're going to level those three up, because those are my three Pokemon I am using. There are three other Pokemon that I want towards my team. I will not say them yet, but just know that they're hype. They're hype Pokemon. But let's go. We're going to make our way up this elevator again. Like I was saying, we're going to head towards left to Route 3. Let's get it. We're going to be facing off against a lot of trainers, I believe. And we're going to be uh, catching a lot of Pokies, man. I'm hoping we get some... There's got to be new ones rocking around here. You guys know what I'm saying? There's got to be new ones rocking around. As you guys can tell, my hair's down. <laughs> yeah, I need a haircut pretty bad. But if I did check the map right... Oh, are you kidding me? There was a Pokemon over here. You got to be kidding me. But Hop's chilling right here. There you are. I've been waiting. Let's have a battle. You and me will get a bit of training in. What's up, dog? He wants to get whooped? All right, dude, let's get him. Hop is going to battle us real quick. We're going to whoop him up real quick before we head onto the route right here. We're challenged by Trainer Hop. I got my Choodle out. Okay, so it's going to be 3v3, but I have six Pokemon just in case. But I think we are we might lose one in the case. Maybe not even one. <laughs> let's see what level his Pokemon are up. What level is your Wulu at? 11? Okay, same level as my lowest uh, Choodle. But my uh, Choodle will level up in just with like 2 XP. As you can see, his bar. Oh, what do you mean he tackled me? Get him. Bite him up, Choodle. Nom. Get him. Nice damage, buddy. Nice damage. Let's see how Water Gun looks. I haven't got the chance to see Water Gun in this game. Let's get it. Let's go. Light him up. Light him up, buddy. Mmm, nice. I think Bite did a little bit more damage. But we're going to try to finish him off with Choodle. Get him the experience. Because we can always heal up. Considering I didn't know there was a Pokemon Center right there. I went all the way back to buy all the Pokeballs and all that. But let's go. Choodle, use Bite. Take him out. Take him out. Ooh. All right, let's take him out here. This next bite will actually finish him up. He's going to use tackle. Our Choodle will be fine unless he crits. Okay, he didn't crit. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here, Wooloo. Get out of here, Choodles. Was this Choodles' first kill? I think it was, dude. He's going to be leveling up. I can't wait to get him to that second stage. Big Dreadnought. But there we go. We got our boy Choodle leveled up. And Winkle leveled up. <laughs> let's go. He's going to send out Sobble, dude. He's going to get eaten up, dude. Our Thwacky is going to just razor leaf him and say night-night. Like, he still has a Sobble. He doesn't even have the second stage. We're going to get cracking on him. It's probably, like, level 12. Look, we got two sticks now. We got two. Like, what, what more do you want? <laughs> level 14 Sobble, dude. He's done. Look how big Thwacky is. Thwacky's a beast, dude. Yay. <laughs> Merc. Absolutely destroyed. And I forget what his uh, third... uh. Pokemon was. I don't think we saw it yet. Unless it's a Rookie D. Which it could be. Could be Rookie D's a good addition. Let's go. Gaining all this experience. Let's see what his next Pokes is. Pikachu level up. That's an a Rookie D. We're gonna go, um. We're gonna keep battling. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep with uh Thwacky right here and just whoop up on him. Because like I said, Rookie D's gonna get plenty of time when the gym comes around, because flying is super effective the grass. We're just gonna be pecking up using Do we have wing attack? No, we do not. Let's go. Ooh, we can't eat berries. What you want? I actually got to give, um, Thwacky the Miracle Seed that Leon gave us to boost his Grass-type moves. Oh, that double hit slaps on this fool. Slaps on <laughs> He's got a peck. Oh, dude, that's super effective. I'm just kind of dumb, but it's all right, dude. It happens. Thwacky's leveled up. Dude, look at this hair, dude, too. Look at Thwacky's little, like, mohawk going leaf thing. <laughs> He's jamming, dude. But there we go. Take out Hop's last Pokemon right there. We can finish off this battle and get moving on to the roots. Let's get anyone level up. Nope. That was poo-poo experience. <laughs> but yeah, after you do raid battles, so the raid battles that we did in the last episode, if you haven't checked out the last episode or the first episode, what are you doing? Go over there and like up those videos right now. But after you do raid battles, you get special candies. Like, we have EXP candies. We got Hop's lead, lead card. Okay, it's in our album. So people that we beat, we get their cards and all that. But like I was saying, after you do dens and all that, you get different candies and stuff. So we have a lot of EXP candies. Like, I can just fill up, like, Thwacky and level them up a couple times and all that. But we're going to head into the Pokemon Center, heal up, then hit the Bounce, Boogie, and Skididdle, dog. But, dude, I wish I would have known. I wish I would have known that the Pokemon was here. I ran all the way back down. I'm kind of annoyed at that. But look at our boy Choodle, dude. <laughs> Thwacky's a big dog, dude. He's got a long torso. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's hit. Let's head out of here. I believe we have to go through a Galar Mine. If I was looking at the map correctly, we're going to head all the way left, up through the Galar Mine, and into the Turf Field place. But let's go, dude. Look at this place, dude. Phenomenal, dude. Every last part of the scenery is awesome. But, oh, yeah, dude. Is this trainer battle? Nope. I ain't even gonna talk to him. What we got? Oh, I never called a Zigzagoon. And what is that? We got a new Pokey. We're gonna catch this Galarian Zigzag... What do you mean? This isn't a Galarian Zigzagoon. Get out my face, dude. All right, we're just gonna run from this battle and go catch that Galarian Zigzagoon. 
Come on, come on. We're throwing this Pokeball. Get in here, Galarian Zigzagoon. These Pokemon are actually on level 13. They're pretty high, not gonna lie. Let's go, get them. Oh, yeah, there we go. Catching ourselves this Galarian Zigzagoon. And we saw this other Pokemon to the left of us. I don't know what it was, though. But let's go. Anyone level up? My boy Chudo leveled up. Let's get it. He's low on health. We're gonna heal him up. The Wacky to 17. Let's go. Two of our big dogs. Let's get it. Oh, guys, what is that? Look at these guys. They're new pokies. Let's let's catch them real quick. Actually, I'm going to switch my Pokemon out because we got my boy, Choodles, a little messed up. We're going to put Rookadee. Actually, we're just going to throw Thwacky in that front spot real quick. And then we're going to get rolling out here and catching this Pokemon. What is this? Is this a new Pokemon? I believe it's a new Pokemon for here. <gasps> it is. It's Gossifleur. Woo! This would have been the grass type I would have picked if I would have took Score Bunny or um, Sobble as my starter but we already got a grass type because i love the way of uh, glossifor looks like look at that well, what's cotton down do the speed falls when i hit it is that both times i hit it that is such a good no lie that is such a good ability is that their main ability or is that their like secret ability because most pokemon well all pokemon have at least two abilities and like it's harder to get the second one so this could be the second one but we're gonna throw out our pokeball and catch this new grass type yeah let's get it dude this is hype i always love seeing new pokemon but yeah since we're not in the wild area anymore we're on like an actual route we're gonna be first pokemon our level and all that so we just gotta we're fine we're fine we don't have to worry about big dogs but let's go caught that golf sport and we keep moving along all right let's keep rolling out here we got that golf sport oh look we got a trainer what is this over here though Oh, that's not is that a shiny oh no it's not a shiny i was gonna say i saw the red from the back right there and i thought it was a shiny i was like bruh but I, I think I heard that uh, shinies don't appear on the outer screen right here. You have to actually go in battle to see if they're shiny. But let's go. Face off against our trainer on this thing. Oh, perfect. We got our Choodle in the front spot. I switched him out last second right here. And he has water gun, so we got this advantage right here. Level 12 versus 13. We'll be chilling. Hit this water gun up. Yeah, Choodle. I think Choodle's sick, dude. And he evolves into a big, giant snapping turtle, like an alligator snapper turtle. Dude, that's some mean damage right there. I wish he would have brought him down to at least half, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to get a crit here anyway. Just watch. I'm calling it now, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. The critical hit water gun. No, I lied. <laughs> I'm sorry I let you guys down. <laughs> We're going to finish off this Vulpix right here. But yeah, I'm still confused. I think, let's see. Let's see who gets the most experience. Would it be the person battling? Or does everybody get the same? Let's see with the XP share. Let's check it out. Okay, no, the person battling gets the most experience. Okay, that's fair. That's what I thought. That's why I want to get Choodle in here. He's the lowest level. Let's try to level him up a little bit. But dang, we racked up some cash there. 1,008. Let's get it. But we got this Pokeball over here. What's in it? What's this thing? What is this little secret Pokemon showing here? Oh, it's just a Rookie D. It's just a Rookie D. Dumb Rookie D. I ain't catching him. Let's go. Let's grab ourselves. Ooh, three heal balls here. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to actually run around this grass. I was trying to see. Look at this Zigzagoon trying to run after us. We got this other trainer right here. And... There's no other new Pokemon chilling right here. I bet you there's got to be a few more new uh, new guys lurking in this grass over here. But we're going to take on this trainer first right here. We got Schoolgirl Hannah right here. We're going to give her the quick weapons. Oh, she got a Pancham. Rocking a Pancham. I think, are they just dark type? Dark and fighting, that's what they are. But we got ourselves our Trudel right here. And, oh, not very effective, so we're just going to use our water. Gun. I like that. I like how it shows if your move is not very effective and all, and all that. Like, in the older games and all that, you would have to, like, just, like, like know. You would just have to know, like, what things... Uh, hurt other things but now you can you can just save so it's not bad not bad we're just gonna keep water gunning this pan champ up he doesn't want it dude he slapped my chudo in the head don't make me hit you with the tackle we might have to switch out pokemon here this pan champ's pretty strong get him chudo keep giving him the weapons dude oh no dude pan champ's going in i think we can survive we're gonna switch out right now go into our wacky right here nobody messes with little chudo or big boy wacky comes out look at him dude he's he's big boy and when he evolves, he's an absolute unit. <laughs> he's just a giant gorilla. Look, she's gonna eat this up like a champ. Pfft, nothing. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Now you're getting razor leafed. <laughs> Look at this. Boop, 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 boop. See you later. Out of here, dude. He's dead. Done for. We gotta heal up our Chudo again, don't we, for next battle. Well, Chudo got some mean experience. Wingle, I don't care if you level up. <laughs> but there we go. To be a school girl hiding out here, and she pays us close to a thousand dollars. Well, pokey dollars right here. Now let's uh, heal up our boy, Choodle, real quick. Then we keep exploring this place. Then we gotta go into our bag. We gotta go into our bag. 
Potions. Oh, we should have bought some more potions, but we're chilling. We're chilling. We'll just give him one potion for right now. Then keep moving along. We got this Gal Galarian Zigzagoon. Anything over here? There's that Pokemon we caught already. What is this? Oh, there's a team up there. Okay, I see it. I don't really care about these trainer tips. We gotta go around. Look at this Gossifleur chasing us down. <laughs> we got Galarian Zigzagoon. Oh, a Skunky. Is that a Skunky? Yeah, dude. Let's catch this Skunky right here. Oh, yeah. What is oh, I was gonna say, is that a Skunk Tank? Did we just screw up? <laughs> But now, dude, like I said, the roots are usually like stray with Pokemon your uh, level and all that. Let's get him with this bite. What you want? Actually, is bite not very effective? Smoke screen, you hunk of junk. Lowering our accuracy. Get him with this bite. Yeet. Oh, not very effective. <laughs> yeah, yeet, baby. Come on, Skunky. We're capturing you, dog. Oh, yeah, we're going to uh, switch out our Choodle. He's a little lightweight right now. <laughs> he gets hit a couple times and he doesn't deal enough damage right now. So, I think he's one of those Pokemon that you gotta wait till evolve to really, like, have him at his full potential. Well, that's all Pokemon, but you guys know what I'm saying. But he leveled up, and he learned Protect. Not bad. Not bad. Protect can be used, actually, very well. Oh, did we just skip a trainer? No, we got a trainer right here. He's just walking around. We're actually gonna battle him. I don't like to really skip trainers and all that. I like to battle them all, considering I can get the full XP for my Pokemon. Only time I really, like, ditch him or not want to verse him is whenever I, uh, what's it called? Like, I'm low on potions and all that and gotta get the next Pokemon Center, but I usually go back and battle him. But right now, we're going up against a Grass-type, two Water-type, so we're just gonna swap out to a Rookie D real quick. Get him some action. Get a little peck going. I w wonder what level Rookie D evolves. It should be soon, right? Is he a 1636 also? But no berries for Badoo. I would love to catch a Badoo. Look at him. trying to absorb. That would've whooped on our Choodle. That would've just took him out. <laughs> but we're gonna get him with this peck real quick. I want him to learn another, uh... Flying move, like wing attack or something. Oh, oh no, dude. Badoo survived on one HP. Dude, that ripped on him. If we would have had wing attack or something, he would have been night-night. What are you, absorbing, getting one extra HP? You're done. We're going to see what our uh, power trip looks like. I never used this yet, but Rookity has it. What is this? Oh. Oh. He like flies up in the air. It comes down and slams on him. Is that the only Pokemon he has? Let's see. Got a Choodle. Our Rookity leveled up. He wants to learn Pluck. What's this move do? Let me actually see what this move does. Pluck, is this a healing move? No, it's a power move. The, the user pecks the target. If the target's holding in a berry, the user eats... The, ooh, dude, that's pretty good. We're going to take out... Uh, Now, we're going to keep home calls. Um, now, we're going to take out home calls. Sorry. <laughs> but let's go. There we go. Another flying move, and it's a stronger one right here. One, two, and ta-da! Let's go. We learned Pluck. Will he evolve here? It's the real question. Pikachu leveled up. I don't really care too much about it. He's about to send out a Gloss Boy. We're just going to keep... We're just going to keep our Rookity chilling right here. Because we got another grass type, we're just going to whoop on it. And we're going to use Pluck, see if this thing's got rock and a berry. Let's see. Where's Pluck? I was going to say. <laughs> Did I not give it to him? <laughs> Let's go, Pluck. Mmm. Dude, just one shot him real quick. No berry. It's fine. He's dead. <laughs> My Gossip Fleur looks so cool. I forget what his final evolution looks like. But that's cool. Let's go. Defeated Marvin right here. We keep moving on. I got to remember to get that TM around the corner right here. But I saw Sonya up here, so we're probably going to have to talk to her. Right now or something. Let's see. Yep, like I said, we gotta talk to Sonia. Hey, you gym challenger. You looked you looked real ace out there during your opening ceremony. Thanks. That means a lot. Oh, but where's Hop? I don't know. Hop went ahead and he's just a punk, so we hate him. <laughs> it's like all, I, all I'm worried about is that TM. But she's looking at the view over here. You see that building over there? It's a company owned by the Chairman Rose. Okay, so the Chairman. I feel like he's a little sketchy guy. I feel like because. In the opening ceremony, there was only eight gym leaders. One was missing. Is he the eighth? I don't know. He's a little sketch guy. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm overthinking this. But we got ourselves an escape route, which is just awesome right here. This will let us get out of any cave, mine, or anything we have. And Sonya is actually healing up our Pokemon, which is just awesome. Perfect. It kind of helps you out a lot in this game. The people, which is nice. Well, let's make our way around this corner right here. We got ourselves... <gasps> New pokies. New pokies. We're going to get them on. No, we're going to get them right now. I was going to say. I was going to say. Oh, dude, it's the coal guy. We got Roly Coil. Yes, dude. He's a fire and rock type, and he evolves into an absolute unit. We're going to catch this boy right here. Let's go. We're going to hit him with this water gun real quick. This might do a lot of damage. Let's see. Decent amount. <laughs> but let's go. Let's go. This guy is the Roly Coil. He's kind of like, he looks like Gollum when he's fully evolved. He's a big boy. Big fire rock kind of guy. He's like a coal on fire. It's just sick. 
Let's go grab that TM. We got this trainer right here. I'm guessing we're just gonna have to beat this trainer and then loop all the way back around. Then we gotta head up through the mines. I wanna beat the first gym today or in this video. Let's get it. We got schoolgirl Kaylee over here. <laughs> Looks exactly like schoolgirl Hannah, but we got poor loin. We actually haven't seen one of these yet, which is cool. Our Pokedex is starting to fill up pretty well. I think we have over 25 caught. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna bite down on this chump. Why did I bite down? Isn't she dark? Or is she just a normal type? Let's see. We'll find out now. Yep. See, not very effective. I should have known. <laughs> but let's go with this uh, water gun. I was going to use Protect. Protect is actually a very good uh, move in certain situations. You just have to be able to uh, use it in certain situations right here. Hopefully she uses something. Yeah, there we go. Like Growl. Drops her attack so we can actually take an extra hit and destroy this Purlon. Let's go. Because we're going to need two more hits here. So let's go water gun here. And then we can finish it off with the next hit. Let's go with another one. Water gun's our best move right now. Could you imagine if Dreadnought learns? Because he's going to... I think he's rock. Dreadnought is the second stage. He's rock and water. Could you imagine if we get Earthquake, Rock Slide, and like Hydro Pump in the mix right there? <laughs> he could probably learn Crunch. I'm not going to lie. Because we got Bite. Usually a Pokemon that learn Bite uh, can learn Crunch. But we're going to send out a Squib. We're going to switch out to Wacky. Get Whooping on that. Because Chudo's a little low right here. The Rookity might be your top dog in a little bit. In levels. Because after that gym battle, gained so much experience. Well, we got our boy Thwacky. But the second gym, I believe, is water. So our, our Thwacky will just roll out there. Give a quick whapping. We got Razor Leaf. Dude, Squirtle is the worst Pokemon in this game, I think. <laughs> I believe so. He's like the Bidoof right here of this generation. <laughs> let me know what you guys think is the worst Pokemon in all of Pokemon in the comment section down below. And let me know you guys' favorite Pokemon of all time. My favorite Pokemon? Well, I don't know. That's a tough one. P favorite Pokemon? I have a few. I have a few, probably. I've always been a big fan of, like, Turtwig and Pitplop. They've been my, uh, one of my favorites for a long time. But we, there we go. Thwacky's level 14. I'm trying to think. If I think about any other cool Pokemon that I really like, I'll let you guys know. Maybe Luxray. Luxray from Diamond and Pearl sick. But let's keep rolling on here. What we got? Oh, we got this berry tree. Let's see what we have. I'm not going to shake it too many times. We're going to shake it twice here. And try to collect berries right here. I'm going to shake it one more time because if you shake it too much, the Pokemon's going to fall and you get none of the berries. There are four berries. We're going to quit here and pick up all these good berries right here. You picked up the berries that fell from the tree. Three Petra Berries and one raw Berry. Nice, nice, nice. And we got this TM right here. What is it? Beat up. Ooh! TM beat up right here. Let's keep rolling now. I love getting uh, TMs. You can actually just fill your whole thing up with that. But didn't our Chudo get whooped? Didn't our Chudo get whooped? I believe he did. We're going to actually heal up our Chudo real quick. Right? Our Chudo took some mean damage. Yeah, there he is. Sitting at 40. We're just going to give him... We'll give him two potions real quick. Put him at full health before we go inside this mine. This mine actually might be nice for us. Considering it could just be all rock and fire types. This is a trainer? Yep, it's a trainer. We got to go burst him. <laughs> Let's keep rolling out here. I love the roots. I love battling trainers and all that. It's just... I don't know. It's just such a nice feeling. We level up our Pokemon and all that good stuff. What's going on? A Deli Bird. Ooh, look at our boy. A Deli Bird. <laughs> We got ourselves Chudo right here. I believe he's just Ice type, right? Ice and I, th I think he's just an Ice type. Why don't I use Water Gun? I meant to use Bite. Present. What's Present? What that do? It doesn't affect Chudo. What's Present do? <laughs> okay, that's fine. That did some decent damage. We're gonna bite up here. What does Present do? What's he doing? <laughs> just keeps launching the Present at us. Oh, that one did damage. Why did the first one do like nothing? Oh, Bite solid. I feel like his bite should do more because he's a turtle. Jeez, he keeps pressing up. Does it do more damage each time? Jesus, what's this? Why didn't the first one do damage? I'm confused, but we're going to bite down and actually finish him off with this next hit. Unless this present kills us. Did he only have present? I believe so. Yeah, I'm scared. Oh, we're chilling. That one didn't do as much. I feel like that moves like a randomizer. Like, it just depends on certain situations right there. But there we go. Take out that deli bird right there. Level up. Oh, Choodle to level 15, baby. Dude, he's racking up the XP. That was a lot of XP for him. Wingle level up. We don't care about you, Wingle. We do not care about you, like I've been saying. Well, let's go. We got some nice cash for defeating him right here. And what do we got right here? We got a campsite right here. This is a trainer. Let's talk to this thing. If you want to help heal up your Pokemon, there's nothing like setting up your camp and cooking. Oh, yeah. You can set up your camp, cook, and all that. They get XP and all that. Oh, give us a nice little cherry berry, which is nice. We're going to put it in our pockets and bags and all that, which is just dandy. We're not going to visit your camp. Get out of my face. We're just going to keep moving on with this route. And we got another trainer right here. And then Grass. We're going to see if we can find another Pokemon after we defeat this trainer right here. Because I just want to find a new Pokemon. <laughs> there's got to be like secret Pokemon. Because when we catch three on this route, we call it Zigzagoon. But we could have called him earlier. So there's basically two. <gasps> Is that Sizzlepeed? 
It's Sizzlepeed. I want him on my team. He's a fire and bug type. I really want a Sizzlepeed on my team. He is one of the Pokemon on that I want on our team. So we're going to see if he actually chills in this grass over here after this and all that. Dude, he's sick. He evolves into a giant centipede. Like, look how small he is now, but he's cool once he gets leveled up. So I want him on our team, dude. <laughs> well, let's go. He's so small right now. I wonder. He gets bigger, I believe. Like, a lot bigger when he evolves. Sizzle P, dude. What's a Dotler? What's a Dotler? This is a new Pokemon. Let's see who this is. Oh, no. This is the second stage of Blitbug. Okay. We're just going to bite down on it. See if we can do some damage on it. Yay. Oh, super effective. Let's get it. Because he is, um... What is he? Part fairy, right? So if he has a... Oh! Choodle, no! <laughs> Down goes our Choodle. That's all good. We're just going to send our uh, Thwacky right here. Choodle will not get experience for this. But we're going to send our Thwacky. Just give it a quick double slap. And then revive up on our uh, Choodle after this. Which will be nice. Let's go. Double hit him. Oh, that first one was a crit. Take him out. Yeah, see you, Dottler. But hopefully we can catch a Sizzlepeed in this grass after this battle right here. What we, what we got? We got some experience. Rookity level up. Jeez, Rookity. Going off Pikachu level up. That's fine. That's fine. And there we go. Defeated schoolboy Peter over here. Okay, let's keep rolling out here. Let's see. Do we got any Pokemon? We have a secret little hidden Pokemon right here. Let's see what we got. What do we have over here? Ooh. Little Clink. We got a little Clink. What, what is it? Clink evolves into Clank. And then Clank evolves into Clink Clank. <laughs> I believe that's how it goes right here, but we're gonna whip him up and we actually capture this Pokemon. But you guys can actually catch Sizzlepeed here on Route 3. Oh, what is this? Oh, dude, it looked like it was gonna do a poop ton of damage. But you can actually catch Sizzlepeed right here, but the problem is he's only a wild encounter. So the, the exclamation points that pop up, that's the only way to actually catch him is through that. But he's actually a rare drop here. But you can catch him later easier, so I think we're just gonna wait till later to catch Sizzlepeed. Just focus on our Pokemon right here. But yeah, I definitely want Sizzlepeed on our team. He is dope. Just little Sizzlepeed, dog. And he has a Gigamax form, which is nice. Oh, we got Bind It. We got Bind It. Dude, Trudeau's a little lightweight, dog. He is a lightweight, dude. We've been healing him up this whole time, but we're going to catch him right here. We're going to catch Clink right here. Let's get him. Get in there, Pokeball! Let's go. Get in there. That a boy. Let's go. What we got over here? I saw a Pokeball down here. Let's see. Yeah, we got this, this little Pokeball right here. A nice little Super Potion. That would be nice for Choodle. He's he's all right, but do we do we go for the Sizzlepeed? No, I think we'll just go for later. We'll give this last encounter a check real quick, and then we'll see what it is. <gasps> oh, we're going to catch this thing. A wild Mudbray, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Let's go. We're going to catch ourselves this Mudbray right here. It's a nice little ground type. Mudbray is cool. I actually had Mudsdale on my team in Sun and Moon when I did that game. <gasps> Oh, dude, I thought Trudel was going to kill somebody. Stamina. Oh, dude, that, that was the thing. His defense raises every time you hit him, and he gets stronger and stronger. Then he just irons defenses. Dude, he's set. Dude, his defense through the roof. But too bad we're just going to catch him with this next Pokeball. Let's go. Throw this one out here. We got we still got 22 Pokeballs. Yeah. Get catching. Let's go. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Yeah. <laughs> I hit up another wild encounter right here. We got a Machop. We actually do not have one of these yet. So we're going to catch them real quick and then get moving on through the mine up the turf field gym for our first gym. Dude, I'm hyped to burst our first gym. But yeah, I really want that sizzle beat right now, but it's a really rare drop. So I feel like if we just wait out, we can train up our next, our other Pokemon, and then we can get the uh, sizzle beat a lot easier up and later. It's near the third gym. Okay, let's keep moving along here. We're going to go up. Over here to this mine. Isn't this this a mine, right? I believe it is. Let's keep walking through here and check it out. Oh, look at it. We got the Galar mine, dude. <gasps> look, we got drillbers and timbers. I want this. Oh, Drillbur! Where'd you go, buddy? We have a timber, right? I believe. Does that Gigamax? We're going to check our Pokedex real quick. Let's see if that Gigamax timber actually counts as a timber in our Pokedex. Let's see. Where's timber at? Where's my boy timber? I see Tim Pole, Stinky, Machop, Magikarp. Sizzle P, we didn't catch Sizzle P. They're just rubbing it in our face. <laughs> yeah, okay, we that considered our catch for that timber, which is just nice. We need a drill bird, dude. Can that drill bird spawn? Where's our boy at? We got, we got. Can we just keep walking this way? Oh, this is pretty cool. Maybe we can find drill bird just chilling over here. Well, let's go. We got this trainer right here. We're gonna battle him up, dude. We gotta go through this whole Galar mine, dude. This is sick. Oh, we got, we got worker Keith over here. He's probably got all rock types and stuff. See, rock and roll. So our Chudo can actually rock out here, which is just awesome. Let's go. Let's get whooping. 
Ben and Daniel. What a gun, baby. What a gun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say probably two hits. He'll be dead. What's he gonna use? He's gonna tackle us, dude. Our Trudel's low. He's low on health. He's down to almost red. But we're gonna finish off this rock and roll here and get all this XP and good stuff. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Ben and then so what we get? Thwacky to level 19? He wants to learn Screech? Nah, dude, you're good, Thwacky. You ain't a Screech kind of guy. You don't need that on our team. Acting like he has to lower their defense. Dude, his attack is so strong when he is fully above. It is ridiculous. Let's keep walking up here. Anything we got over here? I see a Pokeball. However we get that Pokeball, I guess we gotta go around or something. Let's keep going this way. We can loop around here. Yeah, what? Do we, oh my god, this place is actually huge. It's rather big. We're gonna grab or this Pokeball right here. And I believe the way we got to go is up towards that way in front. Three great balls. Ooh. A little high performance catch rate kind of ball right there. But we're actually going to head down here and see what's over here. What is over here? Is this a different area? This is back to Route 3. Oh, and we got a TM. Good thing I went over here. We got Rock Blast. This is actually awesome. We're going to give this to our Trudel a little bit later. I don't know if he can learn now because he is just water type right now. But once he evolves, he'll be able to learn rock moves and all that. Let's keep Ked now here. Where's that Drill Brat? I would like a drill bird to spawn. I would love to catch one of those bad boys. I love Escadrill, his second stage. Second stage right here. What's over here? We're gonna get in here, Woobat. Dude, we catching them all today. Every last Pokemon in our Pokedex. Let's get it, guys. Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Caught the Woobat. We can move on and go face off some trainers. All right, let's roll out after this trainer right here. I see a bunch of Woobats flying around. You see them all down low right here? We got our Trudel ready to go. We might actually switch to a Thwacky and just start running through this mine and all that because Thwacky can just own up on everything. But, oh, sending out a Diglett, dude. Our, this is our Trudel spot right here. Or Thwacky could just own it. It feels weird calling him Thwacky, not Garuki. I miss Garuki already. Because <laughs> Garuki's a man. Oh, he's going to... Look at Astonish. Astonish is hilarious. He turns around and he's just like, yeah, yeah, what you want? <laughs> But let's go. We're going to... Well, Diglett's going to growl up here. We're going to send out our water gun. Hopefully, we can one-shot him. Choodle, show him how it's done. Are you 17 yet or 16? I think... Nope. Not dead. He's still level 16. But let's try to finish him off here. Diglett is going to astonish again, you hunk of junk. I'm just trying to beat you, and you keep making us flinch. No, we did not flinch. Nice. I'll take that. There we go. Finish off that Diglett right there. Who's he going to send out? I think we're just going to send out Thwacky to one-hit Rage Leap this next rock type. Let's see who he has. Drillbur. I think Drillbur's part steel. We're still going to switch out the Thwacky and try it. I don't think it's super effective. I got to catch one of these. I think he's part steel. I think he's ground and steel. Right? I think Drillbur is or he might just be ground and then turns into steel with Excadrill. Look at Drillbur, dude. Drillbur's the man. We're just going to raise relief and see how it does against this Drillbur. Oh, yep. Super effective. Dead. One hit. <laughs> and, and, and I crit it. What more did I need? What more did I need then? Let's go. Finish off this battle. We're going to keep rolling out here. Get some XP. I'll take that. Worker Sandra. Let's go. Let's hit the balance. See, this is actually taking us longer than I thought, but it's chill. We're still going to try to get that uh, gym done. And for this, oh, we got this Pokemon. <gasps> drill Burr. Let's catch him. Got a Drill Burr. We got to catch this boy. I thought I was going to kill this guy. I thought I was going to kill this guy. He is literally down to probably one HP. I am so lucky. Now we can actually catch this Drill Burr. Be dandy. We can battle this trainer on the right and get this Pokeball. Let's go. Let's get it. Drillbur was caught. All right. Let's battle this guy. I actually swapped out to my Thwacky in the front spot so we can just roll out here and get to that gym. I wonder how long that gym is going to take us. This might be a long episode, guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you guys do stick around and watch it all. Let's go. Thwacky. Was Thwacky super effective to, to this grass? Yeah, he will because he's not fire yet. I think he only gives fire when he starts to evolve. Let's go. One hit. He's dead. This is, We're just going to run through this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is what I was talking about. We're trying to level up Trudel, but dude, we can run through it with our Thwacky so easily right here. And our Rookity did level up, and our Pikachu leveled up too. If we, Pikachu wants to learn faint. Nope, ain't happening. Will our Rookity actually evolve? Let's see, dude. I'm thinking he might. Level 18? That seems like a good level for him to evolve at, right? You guys know what I'm saying? Come on. Yes, dude! Rookity is evolving. Let's get it. Let's see what he evolves into. Hopefully, it looks more and more like Corviknight, because Corviknight looks dope. Oh, yes, dude. Let's go. He looks sick. Congratulations, you're Rookity Bob into Corvus Squire, dude. Let's go. He's a little squire now. All right, let's grab ourselves this Pokeball right here. And a, a pair of heavy boots. These boots prevent from traps set in the battlefield. Okay, that's fine. And we got this thing right here. A revive. Just chilling here. What's over here? This is the right way we should have went. Yeah, this is the right way, because there's somebody over there. We're going to head back real quick. 
Because there was another route we could have went towards. And I believe there's probably like some nice item. Mm, didn't mean to run into this boy. <laughs> We're just gonna run away from Timber. To get out my face, dude. He's holding a nice little log. Like, <laughs> He's like, well, you got six, Thwacky? Well, I got a log. <laughs> but yeah, there's one path that we didn't go towards. And it should be this way and then to the left. Oh my god, dude. We're running into all these Pokemon. Get out of here, Woobat. Okay, this is the way I want to go. We're going left over here. Yes, right over here. We want to head this way. Face off against this trainer right here. And then get moving on. Because we can actually... I think we're at the end of this Galar mine right here. So we can actually go face off the in the gym after this, which is nice. What is Jilbert? Is he part rock? I don't know. Maybe. But, dude, this Galar mine looks gorgeous, though. Okay, this is just effective. He's not rock. What is he? He might. He's not ground, either. I don't even know what he is. But there we go. Rage Leaf will take him down to pass hell. Half health. He's just going to rock throw us. How does he have a rock move? You ain't rock, dog. We're just going to finish him off here. And then get, get moving on. But like I was saying, this Galar mine looks gorgeous. All the gems in it looks awesome. It looks phenomenal. Like, they couldn't have did a better job right there. Anyone leveling up? Chudo! My boy Chudo. What's Chudo, Bob? I feel like he's like a level 30 guy because he only has a second stage. But we're going to keep the wacky out here. Get whooping on these timbers. Dude, why you got to have two timbers? Get out of my face. Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. But let me know in the comment section down below also. Are you guys enjoying this game so far? Because I'm having a blast. Definitely a top Nintendo Switch game. I'm ranking it up there. It is in. Puts up the fifth spot in my opinion. We got Smash Bros. Breath of the Wild. Odyssey. Super Mario Maker. And Pokemon Sword. And Shield. For the best games for the Switch. Dude, the Switch has just been phenomenal. With the games that they've been putting out. All in. Another Timber? What you mean, dog? So now a heaping amount of Pokemon right here. An absolute heaping amount of Timbers, dude. Three Timbers that we just whooping on. <laughs> What kind of person is like, I want to be a Pokemon trainer? Uh, what Pokemon do you want? Give me three Timbers. I'll take all three of them. That's fine. I want to have one of these boys on our team in general. Actually, the third stage is pretty dope. But it's cool, it's cool. We'll take out this third one. And hopefully we get a good item, because I think this is just a secret path. Maybe we'll get another TM. Thwacky to level 20, baby. I don't care about you, Bunnelby. <laughs> but let's go. We got our boy Thwacky to level 20. We got to get him to 36 in order to get Rillaboom, dude. Absolute unit right there. Let's keep moving on here. What we got over here? Was it worth it? Yes, it was, dude. Beautiful ATM. We got Scary Face. I would like to collect all the TMs in this game, which we are going to do. Probably not in the playthrough. Like I said, probably more post-game. We'll collect everything. But let's head out of here. Let's hit the Bounce, Boogie, and Skadiddle. Got Rolly Coil right there. Drillbird chilling there. Any other Pokemons that I got to watch out for? Rolly Coil, Rock and Roll. We got him. Oh, what's this? An Ether. Okay, okay. We're chilling. Now we can make our way out of this mine right here and up towards this way. And we got this lady over here, which looks familiar. I think we know this chick. Let's see who this is. Question mark. Come this way. I'd advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. <laughs> Yo, does she want it? What's her problem? You. You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the chairsman is more important than the champion, right? Boy. We got a whoop on her. She wants this Pokemon battle. She's done for. Trainer Bead. We got three Pokemon. A Solosis, dude. This is actually a really good Pokemon right there. But we got a Thwacky out. We're just going to double slap it up. Say, get out of my face, dude. We got a lot of battling in this episode. Let's double slap this. What level is this on? 13? Get out of here. Dude, my double slap almost killed it. If we would have crit there, a double slap would have finished off your Pokemon. Get out of here. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little bit of chance to shine. Yeah, right, dude. My Thwacky's seven levels ahead of your Solosis. And this did... Actually, that did kind of good amount of damage. But we're going to take out your Solosis here. I wonder what else you have. Get out of here. Dead. Murk. Bye-bye. <laughs> what else you got? Who you two sent out? We're probably getting some... Oh, that was no XP. I thought that was mean XP. But I think Solosis is just a... Uh, a what's it called? A shield exclusive, which I hate, dude. And we get this thing. Gothita. Sword gets Gothita. But, yeah. I love Solosis and its final stage. It's like, ridiculous, right? Something along those lines. But it is definitely a cool Pokemon. Oh, she's got a Tickle us. What does Tickle do? Drops her attack. That's Oh, and her defense. That's not a bad move. That is not a bad move. Let's go. We're going to Rage Leaf. You're dead. Mark. Bye. Get out of here. <laughs> like how she said, we're in for like a challenge and we're just going to lose our Pokemon. Dang it, dude. The Wingle level up. Don't learn to move, Wingle. <laughs> cool, cool. Hentena. Is that a new Pokes? Is that a new? What is Hentena? 
I don't think I know who Henpen is. This is the new Pokemon. Yeah. I believe it's like Psychic and Fairy along those lines. Or doesn't it have like multiple like uh, forms to evolve into? I'm not sure. But oh, this could. Oh, I thought Confusion was super effective. Never mind. We're chilling. You're dead. Bye bye, dude. Took me six hits to take out your whole team. <laughs> Get out my face. Get out my face. So how much XP we getting? Not too much. Dude. I thought we would get a poop ton, dude. When we first hop and stuff, when he has his evolved Pokemon, we're gonna get a ton. Especially when we versus gym leader later. We're just gonna be whooping. It's gonna be fine. She didn't want it. We just murked on her. What we got here? A bag of Stardust. That's fine. We can sell it in shops and all that. Get some more cash. But we are out of this Galar mine. We're actually gonna start making our way to the turf field gym, which is nice. Actually, do we have to go through Route Four? There's Route Four, isn't it? Are you kidding me? We got Route Four chilling here. Oh, yeah, dude. I think we're just gonna run past it, do this gym, and then go do Route 4 later in the next episode. I think that's the, I think that's a good plan. What we got here? Hulu, where do you think you're going? Bad. <laughs> that's probably Hop doing stuff. Let's see what Hop's got. Yeah. <laughs> is that Hop? No, it's not Hop. <gasps> this is the grass gym leader right here. Our boy. Dude, we're gonna have to face off against him. My, are you okay? You look... You took that tackle head on. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah, we are heading towards the gym right here. What's he going to say? His name is Milo. He's a gym leader of the Grass Gym. We're actually going to be taking him on after we heal up our Pokemon. We're going to head over there and get whooping on him. Let's go. Doing this gym challenge. So we're actually going to do this gym challenge and then come back to Route 4 catch all the Pokemon. Because I feel like we've been catching a lot of Pokemon in this episode. I kind of want to switch it up and finish off this gym battle, which is just nice. So let's go over here. There's Hop chilling there. But we're going to talk to Hop real quick and then heal up our Pokemon. There we go, guys. We healed up our Pokemon, talked to Hop and all this. We actually have to head over to the hill. Where is the hill? Is it over here? Oh, uh, yep. We got to go find Sonya at the hill before we actually go into the gym because we are not allowed in there yet. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, but we got this Pokeball right here. Stop it. I want to go grab this Pokeball, Yamper. Yamper's making us or giving us a pathway towards where we have to go. But let's grab this Pokeball real quick and then we can get moving along. Three X attacks. Okay, that's nice. We're chilling. We're chilling. Let's go. Let's get up here. Hello, Sonya. Ooh. This was the thing in the trailer. Let's go, dude. Look at this. Look at this thing over here. It just looks awesome. And now we're going to talk to Sonya and learn all about this little thing. What is that? People thought it was like the legendary or something. It's a geoglyph. That's awesome. After talking to Sonya right there, she says that geoglyph right there was made by some Pokemon. So I'm guessing a big legendary Pokemon has done that. But we're actually going to make our way down here and battle our first gym challenge, dude. I'm hype. I'm hype, baby. Who wants that? I got my Corvus Squire in the front spot. And why is Hop here, dude? Why is he always bothering us? Like, he's just always here. Just annoying us and talking to us every second that he gets. <laughs> Let's go get out of here. Did he say he got the gym badge? I don't even know. But it's fine. We're just going to go in here and go first off against this gym challenge. Look at that Pokemon. Did you see that Pokemon right there? Or not the Pokemon, the guy dressed in the Pokeball suit. All right, we know what we got to do. We got to beat him. Yes, we would like to attempt this gym mission. Let's go. I think we got to go put on our uniform. Is that correct? Is that correct? Yes, we got our 25 uniform. Let's go. We're going to give it our best shot right here and get our first. Did we get gym badges? I hope we do, dude. Gym badges would be cool. And hopefully they still give us the TMs and all that good stuff. But look at us. Heading over here, but the thing about this game, I don't think, I think you just verse off against the gym leader right off the bat. I don't think it's like the gyms where you have to walk around and battle all these other trainers beforehand. Right? Am I correct? Let's see. No, we do. We do. We have to battle off against a ton of them. Jesus. Jesus, guys. There are tons of them. Let's get it. I'm ready. Oh, we have to chase the... Oh, dude, it's an actual challenge. We have to chase these Wooloos carefully. Yo, this is so cool. And we have to put them in this pen over here. <laughs> Get in there. Get <laughs> so it's so different, but it's cool. It's a different challenge. Get in there, Wooloos. All y'all in there. Get in there. You guys are in there. We're just going to run up this corner right here. What? Dude, that's so cool. So before we actually face off against the trainer, instead of actually versing a bunch of little trainers and all that, we actually have to do challenges. Look at these. Get in there, Wooloos. Let's go. What's up? Should be... Oh, you hunks of junk. Look at these boys. Got away from me. It's fine. There's 19. We need just one last one, dude. I love this. This is cool. It's definitely a change of pace here. 
I can't run faster than him. Then we'll get screwed over. Go ahead, Wulu. Get in there. Let's go. There's the last one. 20 out of 20. We unlock the next path and the next challenge. Let's see what we have to do. See, I thought we were... Oh. Wow. I thought we were going to have to face off against a bunch of trainers. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to keep rolling these boys. Yeah, we got to get another 20 here. We're just going to try to keep these in a nice little path right here. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one right there. Let's go. 20 out of 20. Whooped. Well, this guy's a Pokeball. I guess we have to verse him in a quick battle. So we're just going to whoop on him real quick. Ready? Dun dun. All right, we're going to whoop on him real quick and then get moving along with this. He said, sorry, this is my job. To give me XP, we're going to whoop on you. But yeah, this is cool. Okay, so, so we still have the verse trainers and all that. But we got a little challenge on the side, which is nice. Corvus Squire, dude. This is our first time using him. We're just going to pluck and he's dead. Since he only have one, yeah, he only has one. We're just going to pluck it out. Say night night. Actually, dude, it's level 16. This might actually survive this hit. Oh, my lord, dude. One HP and he gets rapid spin off on us. That's fine. That's going to do like nothing. We're just going to peck it up. What did he just do? Speed rose with it. That's fine. Give him a quick little pecky poo. Mwah. Give him a quick little peck. Yeah, dude. He's dead. There we go. We'll take that XP. Don't mind if I do. Dude, Corvus Squire is going to be running this. See, I wish I would have caught the Sizzle Pete. The Sizzle Pete would have been nice to catch considering it would just uh run through this with fire and we can actually level up. But it's just a it's such a rare catch early on. We, it, it would just be better for us to just uh, do it later. Let's go. We're going to run this boy. We're going to push him all up against this wall right here. And we're going to push him up. We got this Yamper. Dude. Go ahead, Woolus. Go ahead, Woolus. Onward! Onward, Woolus! <laughs> 20 out of 20. You're just rocking these boys, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Roll through it. You slide him through that hay bales, dude. Right, boys, let's go. This way, we'll lose. We're going to take the inside path. We got these yampers right here. Oh, they're scared of the yampers. Keep going. No, no, no. Don't you dare split up. Cool. Stay here. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Where are you going? We got this other trainer right here. Let's go. Let's keep walking around. We got to get these. We're just going to keep rolling here. I think we're just going to make our way to the gym leader right here and say, screw that trainer. We're fine. No! You hooks and jugs! <laughs> They split. They split. Yo, what you mean? Get over here, little boy. Get over here, little boy. Thank you. One more, and we'll be chilling. E. E. Let's go. Let's go. Get in here. E. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. Open up this path. Do we have to do this again? That'd be nuts. Hopefully, this is the last one right here. Okay, I believe this is the last one. Let's see what they do. Yeah, dude, they split off, and we can actually face up against the gym leader, Milo, right here. Yeah, let's do this, dude. Let's finish our first gym challenge right here. Where's yeah? Oh, this is a sick little path, dude. I love these gyms. These gyms are dope. Let's go. Let's head up here. What you got? Gym mission cleared. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my boy Milo at? I think we head out into the stadium now in order to burst him. Let's see. Yeah, let's go, dude. Let's walk out here and get it, dude. Let's go, dude. We're gonna whoop on him with our Corvus Squire. Dude, look at this scene, too. This scene's gorgeous. There's Milo. Big farmer, dude. Dude, he's a unit, dude. <laughs> dude, this is such a cool scene, dude. Whoa. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> look at this. This is like a set thing right here. Oh, yeah. My gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challenges. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging. But that didn't stop you from completing it, Jeans. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon. <gasps> you hunk of junk. I don't think we have a Dynamax. I don't think we can Dynamax. Or maybe we can. We'll see. We'll see it, guys. Milo. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Let's go. Gym leader Milo sent out Gossifleur right here. I wonder what, le what level his highest is on. Probably, I'm going to say 20-ish. 1820. Oh, my God. Okay, we can Dynamax. Cool, cool, cool. But I don't think we are going to Dynamax. I think our uh, Corvus Squire is just going to run through. Unless we can Dynamax our Corvus Squire. We can. We can. We're just going to run it. Max Airstream. We're just going to run it. It's actually higher than our Corvus Squire. We might... Maybe should have trained before. And it's going to be 1920, which is kind of our level. But we're going to Dynamax our Corvus Squire right here. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's gain some health up here. I, I think we're just going to whoop on this thing, to be honest. With a Dynamax uh, wind move? or well, not wind move. Flying move? Should be dead. Murked, yeah. 
<laughs> wow, dude, absolutely murked. And what just rose our speed rose, so we're gonna get first hit next time? Bruh. Go on, dude. Level up our Pokemon. We get tons of experience here, especially Corvus Squad. Elder Goss is the next one. I believe it's the second stage of Goss of Floor, or is it its own Pokemon? He said we're tough as weeds. <laughs> Send out Elder Gloss. He's gonna Dynamax this, but level 20, I think we should still be able to take it out. Let's see. Do we get first hit? No, he's gonna Dynamax real quick. So, I don't think we'll be able to take it out right here. We might be able to do half. Let's see a thing. Oh, dude, this Dynamax battles are cool. I'm actually a fan of them. I actually really like them. Oh, what kind of sound is that, dude? What kind of sound is that? Nuts. Corvus Squire used Max Ashroom. Can we one hit it? No way, dude. Not even half health in that. Thing's a tank. It's a tank, but her speed is going to raise up here. Two more hits will be fine. We're going to try pecking it after this. This will re really leave you in shock and all. It's our Dynamax move. What's he going to use? Max Overgrowth. We actually use this with uh, Grookey in uh, the Max uh, Raid Battles. How much damage is going to do? Not that much. We'll be chilling. But it's actually going to turn the floor into, yes, yeah, a grass thing. So grass types will be boosted. And he will heal up every single turn just a little bit. So make our life just a little bit more challenging right here. Let's see. See, he heals up a little bit. Kind of like an Absorb. Well, let's use this one. Let's use our Peck. See if it does any more or less damage. I think it's the same move. I think all flying moves turn into this move right here. But there we go. Take him down to yellow, dude. We're crushing it. One more hit and we'll actually defeat the turf field gym, the first gym. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that actually did a good amount of damage. Not very effective. What you mean, dude? That whooped on us. But I wonder how much XP. <gasps> oh, no. Our Corvus Squire went back down. Are you serious? I think our Corvus Squire might die. Unless we could take out with this. Let's see. Get him. No, dude, so close. So close. I think our Corvus Squire is done for here. E it's fine, dude. We're going to send out a Thwacky. Or should we send out Choodle here? No, dude. Because <laughs> I think this thing will actually outspeed our Choodle and just one hit it with Max Overgrowth. You guys know what I'm saying? It would just, it would just be night-night, dude. The game would be over. Banana new. Oh, no, we would have been fine. Okay, so you only get two, three shots with it? I think you get three shots with the Dynamax, which is good to know, but we're just going to Razor Leaf it. That'll be fine. I don't care that it's not very effective. It's dead. Let's go, and we completed our first ever gym challenge. I wonder what we get. I wonder what we get as a reward. Let's see how much XP. Oh, <laughs> that XP is flying, dude. That was a good batch right there. It stinks that uh, Corvus Squire wasn't in on it. Bam, Let's go. And the power of grass has wilted. What an incredible gym challenge. Oh, we get mean cash. 3,200 Poké Dollars right there for that. And let's see what happens. Yo, let's go. Nice little handshake. And we get ourselves the Leaf Gym badge right there. Oh, and it goes into a little, like, pendant kind of thing. So I guess we got to fill them up and they all go. Now we can catch Pokemon that are up to level 25. Let's go, dude. Let's get it. So we can catch higher level Pokemon and all that good stuff. And we finish off the gym leader. And we get a TM. Magical Leaf. Okay, cool. That'll probably go with our uh, Thwacky. We'll probably give it to him later. That's awesome. That is just dandy. And we get a Grass Uniform. Okay, so we get a bunch of rewards for defeating this Grass Gym. And Milo comes up here probably to congratulate us one last time. Let's see. Some advice for your gyms. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next stop should be at Holbury to meet Nessa. Holbury is just beyond Route 5. Perfect. That is awesome. But we need a grass badge in order to get into it, obviously. That's pretty simple. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As the next episode, we're going to head, be heading towards the second gym and taking on Route 4 that we didn't do in this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.